My name is Betty Richards, and I'm a curator aide at the uh, Fort Lowell Museum of the Arizona Historical Society. Fort Lowell was an uh, active fort from 1873 to 1891, and it was a cavalry post. We were also the supply depot for the, all of the forts in southern Arizona. The soldiers went out and guarded wagon trains as well as chasing all of the Apaches. Uh, in our little museum, which is a replica of the commanding officer's quarters, we have uniforms, um, guns, the material, the equipment that the soldiers had. We also have numerous photographs uh, of the Indian scouts as well as the, uh, in the annex, we have the um, hostile Indians. On Fort Lowell, in the park, there are the ruins of the old fort. There is also a archaeological Hohokam site that you can visit while you're here. My favorite exhibit at this fort is this one right here. The reason I like this exhibit is because it shows the relationship between the fort and the community. This is a picture showing gentlemen and their ladies who came out to the fort to hear the band play. We had a band most of the time and there wasn't any other in Tucson. So they came out here for dances and band concerts. And in the background, you can hear the old Arizona brass band playing. They come out to Fort Lowell uh, Park and play on occasion for our pleasure. The questions I get asked the most about, though, are this hat. As you can see, it's a rather strange looking hat. It is the dress hat of the enlisted cavalryman and was worn in inspections and is appropriately topped with a horsehair plume. It was, when we see pictures of the soldiers, we usually see them with the little kepis on, which we also have in our museum, but this was the dress hat. My second favorite exhibit is the one on the heliograph. You don't know what a heliograph is? You don't know what it was used for? Well, come out to the Fort Lowe Museum and take a look at it. I'll see you at the fort.